All right, I had a question about the diesel particulate filter and regen on these tractors. Right here's your particulate filter. Um, that big unit there, which uh, I guess basically serves as your muffler too. These tractors run extremely quiet. And where their electronic motors makes them a little bit quieter too than the older mechanical engines. But anyways, my thoughts on diesel particulate filters and that kind of stuff is uh i don't like them but wish we didn't have to have them but anyways so far i've not had any problem with this one but you can kind of see the piping and everything right there's your turbo back in there you can see the turbo here's where your, your particulate filter comes back out on the exhaust side and then your exhaust comes down and then back up through your exhaust pipe but when this thing gets ready to regen you'll have a light come up on the dash which I'll show a picture of that light uh, that I took when while this was on in the regen process and it's right here and you're also going to have I got a little light that comes up with an arrow, depending on how, depending on how you're running the tractor, that will tell you you need to raise your RPM. So you run your RPMs up until that light uh, with the arrow goes off. And then once that happens, it'll start the regen process. If you happen to be in a place you don't want it to regen, you can hit this button and inhibit it. And then this one, once you get done, you can hit it to start the regen process. My recommendation is don't mess with them buttons. Um, when this thing's ready to regen, the best thing you can do is, if you're in a situation like inside a barn that's dusty and things, you just park outside and let it do its thing. Probably takes about 15 minutes. Uh, then go back to work. But if you're bailing hay, mowing hay, running the tractor hard, bush hogging, whatever, you'll never know it other than the sound of the engine changes a little bit. When it is aggravating, it seems like it happens to me when I'm wanting to load hay and that kind of stuff. Uh, that's when it gets kind of um, frustrating when you have to run your RPMs up when you're wanting to do slow, tedious work or doing a little bit of dirt work and that type of thing. But overall, I haven't had any problems. Now, with the ones that uses the deaf fluid... I don't know how they do. I know in the bigger tractors now, up around 90 horsepower or something, they use the deaf fluid. This one just has a burner on it, which uh, doesn't seem to give any issues much. I know I had a Dodge truck with just the burner without the particulate filter, and it didn't give any problems. But, um, you know, anything can happen at any time. The best thing is just to keep your RPMs up run the tractor hard, don't idle it around like you, you would some of the older tractors and things. And if it's going to sit and idle a while, rev your RPMs up just a little bit or cut the engine off. Um, don't let it just sit and, and idle for no reason because that's going to stop your filter up. My preference would be not to have it, um, but the way things are nowadays with the EPA regulations and that type of stuff, we don't have a choice. Um... And I don't really see that changing. It's probably going to get worse, is my fear. I wish we could go back to not having any of it, personally. It just makes the tractors cheaper, the trucks cheaper, and everything runs good. And I like to see a little black smoke coming out of the exhaust occasionally, personally. Um, it'd be nice if they'd come up with a delete for these tractors, but then anybody would probably get fined or something. But anyways, it's really not that big of an issue. They work good. Um, just let it do its thing when it's ready to. If it gets ready to do it when you're about to shut down for the evening, I would suggest going ahead and letting it do it. Uh, if you do have to turn it off, it will start the process once the engine heats up the next day. But just try to, when it's ready to regen, let it regen. And if you got to park it, just let it sit there and run at the, you know, at the end of the day or something. I've done that multiple times. 
but it probably regens, I'd say ever, depending on how you run it, about every 15 to 20 hours, I've noticed. Um, if you're not running it hard, it seems like it might do it a little more often. I'll try to keep up with the, the hours on the regen process. It just regen the other day, probably at about 1,404 hours. So, uh, I'll have Clayton write that down over here, and I'll check it maybe next time it regens and uh, see what it's got. But anyways, uh, it's not probably not the best video on that process, but that's what I know about it and my experiences with it. But you all have a good day, and if you will, please like and subscribe, and... Uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. Right here's a little service item anybody might want to do after they get several hours on their tractor. Um, forget what it says in the book how often to do it, but this is the first time I have. But it's adjust the uh, lash in your front end, in your swivel, and all you got to do, it's 22 millimeter wrench, is loosen this jam nut up here, and then tighten this bolt up until uh it gets snug and then turn it one sixth of a turn more it says um which mine probably needed adjusting just a little bit but anyways that's uh pretty simple to do i don't you know i'd say the only way you can mess it up is either over tighten it or leave it too loose one but i just turned it till it felt pretty snug and then turned it one sixth more and then tighten the jam nut back up Hopefully that might help somebody one of these days.